again, Suzanne Perry here, founder of Love Shouldn't Hurt TV. October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month, and each day I've been here giving you a video with some insight uh, regarding domestic violence, and I hope that those have been valuable to you, and I'm hoping that you're sharing them. Before I continue, I am wearing an awesome purple hand knit cap made by a very good friend out on the West Coast. Fellow Bonzonian, I just want to say thank you very much. So today I'm going to address narcissism. Since I made the narcissistic personality disorder video. So what the heck is narcissistic personality disorder or NPD? And it is marked by exorbitant self-love, a severe lack of empathy, attention-seeking behavior in the form of praise. The narcissist always wants to be, always wants their head filled with praise and adoration. The narcissist will take advantage of other people in order to get what they want. They are condescending. Narcissists think that they are special, like more special than all the other people on this earth. They think that they're cut above the normal society. Narcissists have no heart. They will lead you into a relationship telling you all of the things that you want to hear. You fall in love quickly because at first they're putting on a mask, it's a false front, and they are charming you and saying all the things that you want to hear. They learn what your soft spots are, all your vulnerabilities, all your weaknesses. They listen very intently as your relationship develops and you and it's feeding their 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 prey. They're taking this in and remembering it. They're finding it away in their memory so that later, once they have you good and isolated, it's their venom. Your weaknesses and your vulnerabilities are now going to be spitfired right back at you. But by the time this happens, you're not going to have any social network, no one to reach out to, because by this time you've become isolated. That's what they do. A narcissist will build you up and put you on a pedestal. But they secretly despise the good in you. Your empathy, your compassion, they don't have those things. They hate you for it, but they're putting you on a pedestal for it, if that makes sense. It's, it's fake. A narcissist is fake. They put on this fake front. They lure you in and reel you in and trap you. And they will not be happy until they destroy you. So beware of somebody who is so self-absorbed, who wants to fall in love quickly, who wants to isolate you, and who constantly needs your adoration, and your applause, and your support. You know, they might say, oh, well, maybe I'm not that good looking. They're saying that to you so that you will react saying, oh, you're, you're so good looking, who wouldn't want you? Oh, that kind of garbage. They need their head filled all the time. But then, they're going to turn on you and they're going to be like, I can go anywhere else and get this. And they end up telling you that you're nothing. Which is a reflection of their own self. They're nothing. They're nothing but a black hole. They're hollow, shallow, hateful, negative, pessimistic, and abusive. So the sad part is, there never was true love there. All the stuff that they were doing to get you to love them was a trap. So you end up feeling deceived, crushed, heartbroken, confused, what the heck happened?
It's a really horrible experience to be entangled with a narcissist. So let's prevent that from happening. If you recognize any of those warning signs, extreme jealousy, possessiveness, paranoia, that's a big one too, um, a great deal of mistrust. If they keep on asking you if you're doing stuff and making stuff up, are you cheating on me? Are you sure you were where you said you were? Things like that. These are big danger signs. So do not engage. Snip it. Get the heck out. I'm Suzanne Perry. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you again tomorrow. And thank you for this awesome purple cap, handmade by fellow Bonzoni and out on the West Coast. Thank you. You rock.